So this is my NMR coil setup. I have um, the Helmholtz coils, as you can see here. Um, and then this cross tube is epoxied in place to keep the Helmholtz coils at the right separation. They're five inch coils, so we want two and a half inches center to center. And then there's a radial gradient coil mounted on that tube that will produce a gradient in the direction of the Helmholtz coil. Well, I should say perpendicular to the direction of the Helmholtz coils. The field in this direction will be strongest in the middle and reduce as it goes up. So there's a gradient in the vertical direction. Then I have a shim coil, which is meant to be used to either uh, tweak the gradient or uh, eliminate the natural field that the um, uh, zero gauss chamber does not eliminate. And then this is my pre-polarizing coil. And then I have a tube that can fit in the top of that that can go up to the top of the chamber. So that part's ready. And then this is the updated circuit board. I've changed everything except the one capacitor and uh, didn't need the heat sink. Got the MOV added. And um, so that's almost ready to go. And uh, then my zero gauss chamber over here is all set up. And it's you know, all set up, ready to go. Um, I need to degauss it. I ordered a six volt, 160 hertz transformer. Step down from 120 to six volts at 60 hertz. And then I will wrap some turns of 18 gauge wire around the inner cylinder and energize it with my 60 hertz power supply and then ramp it down very slowly to degauss the chamber and then check to see what the readings are. And the same with, you know, once that's all set up, then I have these cables, which I can make longer. Um, if I want to put this chamber far away, but right now they're about three feet long. I can extend them as long as I need. I got a whole roll of cable. So that's where I'm at. That's the update for this weekend.